Everyone on the server has been creating nether pearls across spawn and being completely disorganized overall. And breaking the obsidian to clean up their mess is getting a little bit repetitive. However, I've come up with a plan to fix this problem by making a public nether portal at spawn. But this isn't going to be no average 3 by 2 portal, because I'm going to be going for the world record for largest nether portals. The thing is that this guy is a current world record holder because he made his in creative mode. So to one-up him, I'm going to do it all in survival mode. So now all I need to do is obtain the materials. Okay, this might not actually be possible. So the problem about obtaining obsidian is that it takes three seconds to mine one obsidian with a maxed out pickaxe. But since I need three million obsidian, it'll take me 17 years to mine out. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna live that long. So I scoured the internet for a solution and found out that you can make an obsidian farm with a wither. And for me to make this farm, I need wither skulls. Three skulls, let's go, dude. Since I'm getting 3 million obsidian, I'm gonna need a storage unit to fit on all these blocks. So I'm probably gonna make a fancy hole in the wall kind of entrance. And it's done. Oh, you're probably saying nothing happened. Well, if you click this button right here, Okay, so we did a bit of math, and before I show you the vault, the amount of double chests I need to fill is about 890 double chests full of obsidian. This project is gonna be a lot more harder and painful. Okay, no one's online. Oh God. I have a plan to breed a lot of sheep and put them in the end. And this doesn't look like a lot, right? That's because I just put 200 into the end portal. Wait, what? So to summarize, my teammate just told me that he wanted to use a ton of sheets to decram anyone who enters the end. But since I also needed the entrance to the end, he luckily gave me enough time to do my farm. So after slaughtering all the sheep, I started working on the farm and spent like nine hours on making it. But I discovered a few issues. If someone on the server huh? discovers my plan, they could easily alert everyone since for one, this much obsidian is a huge threat to the server. And two, anyone can steal this obsidian for themselves. So my only option is to AFK at night so no one logs on. Okay, so it's around 2 a.m. and I think this is a good time to start the farm. Go, 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 go. So the way the farm works is that it relies on obsidian to respawn whenever someone or something goes to the end portal. But since I'm using a snow golem to throw snowballs to the end portal, it's required to have the chunks loaded in the overworld. But if they aren't loaded, then the snowman can't spawn the obsidian for the wither to break. So the wither has been like this for about a minute. And the obsidian isn't spawning. I'm low-key kind of stuck right now. Because if I restart the farm, I have to kill the wither and get more wither skulls. Wait a second. I could call a friend to help me. Uh, hello? Okay, I need your help to flick a lever in the overworld at a stronghold. Can you do that for me? Uh, I guess I can. Okay, yeah, come go down the chute. Okay. Okay, yeah, put the boats inside the hopper. Mm -hmm. And then flick the lever two times. Okay, yep, the obsidian farm's working now. Dude, thank you so much. No problem. I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully it can work properly. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna deal with it tomorrow. Oh, what? So it turns out the weather shot at me throughout the night and I died. And I got no obsidian from it. Well, inspiration is a different thing. I, I was talking about like a person Disc. to help. Dude, he put more sheep inside the end portal. After I slaughtered more sheep, I decided to bridge over to the end city to obtain shulkers to transport all the obsidian to the overworld. But this happened. Okay. Yeah, this guy is just completely happy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, how does Luigi get game view from above? Oh, Wait, what? No. Wait, how did you actually get that? Luigi? Luigi? Is this guy in the end? Dude, I found a glitch, bro. Oh, f up, you ass. You didn't find yeah, a glitch. Yeah, they're not buying it. So now they know I'm in the end. I kind of just logged off to avoid any questions. I then collected shulkers later on that day, but my luck just kept on getting worse. Uh, Here's some DMing me. He's like, bro, you gotta get on. No! I'm not gonna lie, this is going pretty bad for me. Not only the farm isn't working, everything around me is slowing me down. I regeared myself and restarted the farm to see if it would work. Oh, it doesn't work. Then I optimized it a bit by using another test subject. You play on legacy. No, I mean like crap. You found a really cool castle and you like. <gasps> Hello? Oh, it got out of the chain. Oh, I see the problem. The wither got pushed out of the chain because of the water. Okay, good news is that the farm works. Bad news is that I have to restart the farm. Turn this on, flip this lever. Okay, it seems like the farm is working. So I then AFK'd for about 30 minutes and surprisingly nothing happened. You know what, I'll take it. Oh my God. Dude, get out. What's going on, Luigi? Yo, uh, do you need something? So, uh, what are you up to right now? Uh, I'm doing a thing for a video. So where are you right now? Are you just like AFK? Yeah. I mean, I saw- I knew that what you were doing. 
Like, I knew what you were up to. Oh, no! What? No! Yes! <laughs> So it turns out when I got the achievement in the end city, Mainpair wanted to go to the end to see what I was up to. So then he killed me. Okay, things aren't looking too bright, but this isn't all bad because now I know that the farm 100% worked. And luckily he was generous enough to give me back my stuff. After this incident, I left my computer running all day and night, collecting all the obsidian and then storing it into my vault and having to repeat the process 500 more times. All of this worked just to be able to make the world's largest nether portal. However, I had a problem. You see the chunk loader in the overworld would randomly stop in the middle of the night and I would have to restart the farm just to be be able to fix it up but then i got an idea i had a friend on the server to convince the owner to add his alt account on the server as a joke but if i could hypothetically convince him to give me the alt account to fix my chunkler issue then my progress would be done much faster yo what up guys i'm baltimore the fit <laughs> Yeah, I was able to convince him. But not too long after, people noticed my long hours on the server, as well as Baltimore the 5th. But why is Baltimore the 5th on the server, bro? Yo, Luigi, do you have Baltimore the 5th's account? No, Baltimore the 5th is logged into the server. Luigi, Baltimore the 5th has been on Minecraft whenever you've been on AFK at an end farm. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just avoided to answer. But throughout the two weeks, I expanded the obsidian farm just a little bit. Died a few times. Oh my Let's god! Go. We had won against one of the most powerful players on the server. Dude, 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 dude. We ran and were able to get away. Oh my god, I think that worked. I think that worked. However, we realized that if we could kill Clown, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, we're not talking about it. And the next thing I knew, I got enough obsidian. All right, so it's been about two weeks and I finally collected two million obsidian. All these chests are full. And I sacrificed two weeks of my life for this. All right, I think the plan is to dig out a layout for the portal to be. So I think the best spot is to dig a layout right here on the side. So the first order of business is to commit arson and completely flatten out this entire biome. I was so hyped to start the project that I even made another storage unit next to spawn to help me place the obsidian faster. However, my plan was to finish building the portal in one night so all the server members could react to it. So I asked two other players on the server, Bry the Guy and Coin Monkey, to help me do this. I even got Testy to make a deal for a swift sneak book, an enchantment I would need to help place blocks faster. The thing is that I'm training it with Main Pair, the guy who killed me in the end. But since he killed me before, he wouldn't bother killing me again, right? All right, you ready? Not... All right, here you go. Ow, dude. All right, we got a deal. Wow, that actually went really well than I expected. What are you doing right now? What? What are you doing right now? I'm working on my video right now. Yeah, but where are you? Wait, why? I'm just curious, yeah. Wait a sec. Oh, nah, dude. Let's see what's in here. Jump back, bro, jump back. No! Let's see what you got going down here. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll block it up for you. So, is this what you need a twist sneak for? I mean, a shulker for... What the f... Luigi? What? What is this? What? Uh, what? Oh. My. God! I'm gonna take some of these. Take some of these too. Can you like not tell anyone about this? Oh, this obsidian, bro! This is kind of a one-sided deal right now. I have gear on me. You don't. I have all this information. Like, like, if I tell everybody, I wouldn't lose anything. <sighs> anyway. I hate you. I'm out. After that interaction, I just hit my lowest point on the server. To top it all off, main pair was taunting me in the chat, revealing my secret. I pondered and realized that I needed to get the portal done that night, but nothing was prepared. I didn't have all my obsidian, enchants, or teammates. So I sucked it up and decided to do it myself. All right, I want to test something. I want to see how long it takes to do one full rotation around the sides to place blocks. All right, I'm going to do a stopwatch and see how long it takes. So it took me two minutes and 35 seconds to place one full rotation. This might genuinely be possible. My hope stayed high. I shrugged off the time it would take me to build it and push myself until I found the key to finishing this project. Okay, so I'm gonna swap my right click so I don't have to break my fingers right clicking obsidian all day. Oh my god. Dude, this is fast. Wait, this actually might make this possible. So apparently, using a keyboard key to place blocks is 10 times more faster than a mouse. But my teammates earlier said that they were logging onto the server to help me place these blocks, and I didn't have Swift Sneak books for them. So I had to call up someone last second to trade for two Swift Sneak books. Hello. Yo, Silver. So I'm doing a project and I need to do a trade with you for Swift Sneak books. And I'm willing to pay you four netherite ingots for it. Bad. Bro, this is the worst deal I'm ever doing in my entire life. All right, I need two of them. But if we're doubling it, uh, okay, elytra for the second one. Dude, that's actually a scam. Four netherite ingots and an elytra, dude. 
Oh, you dropped both? Okay. Thank you for scamming me. Dude, any time, bro, what? So after trading with silver, I then realized that I didn't need exactly 2 million obsidian because the diagram that showed me what I needed counted the inside of the portal and I'm only making it hollow. So since I have this much obsidian, every time you subscribe, I will put one block of obsidian inside the portal to fill it up. All right, so it's 10.50 right now and I'm low-key getting tired and I'm not even halfway done, so just gotta keep pushing. My teammates aren't responding, so hopefully I can push through it. It is currently 11.45 and I finally made it to the base frame before I make the surrounding pillars. This might actually take a while. Coin just joined the server and he's looking at the portal right now. Hello? Yo. Oh, I just looked back and I see how big the <laughs> portal, bro. I was about to say, what the f is that? Jesus f Oh my! Yeah, it's a little big. You want to help? Oh, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, let's go. So me and Coin pushed ourselves to finish this portal. Hours went by so fast and I was so tired, but it did not matter. All right, we're working on the first pillar and it is 12.20. Dude, I cannot believe it's 2 a.m. Building this portal lasted from 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., all the way up to 5 a.m., but we did it. All right, one more block and it's done. Bro, we did it, let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh my f God. Huge shout out to Coin Monkey for helping me with this. Overall, it took us eight hours to complete this in one night. And without Coin, this generally would not be possible. I then went to bed knowing that main pair couldn't do anything about it. So I announced to the server to go to spawn, and here are the reactions. Um, you said zero, zero. Wait, wait, what? Oh, what the heck is this? What? what? How in the world? Bro, what? I'm, my game's lagging. What? Oh my god. Is this Luigi? Is it like another port? This goes to max height. What the f Nah! We finally built the world's largest nether portal frames, but we haven't finished just yet because we still have the center to light up. So if I light right here, it should be done. Wait, so apparently the maximum size of a nether portal is 23 by 23, but any size higher than that will not light. So my only solution is to fit all of this into this one frame. Yeah, this doesn't look very pretty, but this is the only way I can do in survival mode. However, after building this portal, everyone around spawn stopped making portals. So I finally accomplished my goal, but none of it mattered. The journey and efforts I went through mattered more because this sandbox of a game had taught me the freedom I can do with my imagination and accomplishing this world record surpassed my expectations.